guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. And today, I figured I would go through the rest of um, my little my little pouches that you guys saw in that other video. Because I know there was a few that I haven't gone through yet. And it was because I ran out of daylight. I was just getting too dark and it, you weren't going to see anything. And I was like, even that last video was like, eh, right on the edge. So I was like, okay, enough. I figured I'd go through the last few. And some of these actually have even more videos that there will be inside of them. Well, let's go ahead and go through them. And we'll go ahead and go through the one that was my shelter bag first. Coming up. Hope you guys stay with me. Okay, guys. You saw this in the other video. This is one of the top things on top of my pack. Just because right after clothing, this is where what's next. And what we got in here is... Got a carabiner. Some surgical tubing, paracord, a couple different other kinds of cords, some smaller cord, some another type of cord. This is also rougher than what parachute cord is. Parachute cord is very smooth. This is a little bit rougher. And then I have my tarp. And you guys have seen in one of my videos, like, what kind of shelters you can make. And one way you can hang up a tarp. And I will have more videos on different ways to hang up a tarp. But I'm just trying to do an overview right now. And the biggest reason I have a tarp first is if it was an emergency and it was pouring down rain, extremely windy, something, you needed to, you need to get out of the weather. The first thing you're going to need is your shelter, which is, in my case, on a day hike, is just a tarp. This only weighs just a few ounces, and but a tarp, really, really good. There's so many versatile things you can do with with a tarp, and I'll show more videos on just some things you can do with a tarp that you might not really think about. You might just think of a tarp as something you use for just like keeping the rain off of you. There's a lot of other things you can do with a tarp. So, the tarp was one of them. This kind of cord I use for everything from like fire bow and drill methods because it's a little bit rougher. Parachute cord is a little bit too, a little bit too smooth. This is a little coarser and a little rougher, um, a little bit more of a textured rope, and it works better for um, fire bows. Is in my opinion. There's some people that disagree with that, and also I just use it when I'm stringing up my tarp or whatever. And one of the reasons I picked this color because it's a lot easier for you guys to see on camera than something that's camouflaged. The smaller rope is just a nice little thin piece of rope that's really handy for um, guidelines for your tarps. Anytime you need something that's real fine, you don't need a real big piece of rope, this works great. Um, parachute cord, which you guys know all about parachute cord. There's, it's great parachute cord you can use for so many different things, but I always carry a little bit of parachute cord. My carabiner, I can use the carabiner with this rope in an emergency, if I had to rappel down something, this is, I make sure I have rope, either this or the parachute cord, are both stout enough to hold me in an emergency. I wouldn't recommend doing this on a regular basis when you're rappelling, but if you have a trustworthy belt that you can, you can rappel from, which I do, and a piece of rope that you know will carry your weight, and a carabiner, and a little bit of knowledge with a certain knot, you can rappel with that. And I'll do a video on how exactly you do that, but right now it's a little chilly for that. Well, I mean, I guess I could do it, but... So, and then also, some surgical tubing. Oh, smoke in my eyes. I don't know how in the world the smoke always seems to find me. Okay. But anyways, some surgical tubing. This is great for everything from different kinds of spring traps, um... If it was like some area that was like really high winds and it was constantly like tearing your tarp apart, I've thought about using some pieces of this, like cut it into four pieces and tie it onto the four corners before you tie the rope so that your, your tarp actually has a little bit of flex so it doesn't, it doesn't just rip the tent stakes out. It actually has a little bit of flex to it so it has a little bit of give. It's also really handy for fishing. You can use this for... Um, you know, different type, types of fishing, so like when the, something's pulling on the bait, it doesn't break the line. I've used that um, when I was in the tropics. 
for, I mean, you can use it here too, but I was using something similar to this for in the tropics for larger fish that were always breaking my fishing line. You can use something like this to help that. But it's helpful for snares. You can use it as a drinking straw. You can use it as a tourniquet. As you can tell, my gear is kind of spread out all over the place. I use it for all different things. There's not like, I don't really have very much gear that is just for one specific thing. I don't have something, oh, this is only for this. Don't don't carry a lot of stuff. Don't carry a lot of pieces of gear that you use for one thing. Use it for multiple uses. Multiple purposes. And it all goes inside this tight, nice little compact sack. And the reason I do that is it's just easier. It keeps it clean. I don't have to dig through my pack and look for one little part. It's in a nice little sack. So that's basically the overview of my shelter stuff that I carry. And I'll do some more breakdown videos of some more of that stuff because there's just, I mean, there's 30 videos probably just in this one bag of stuff I could do, maybe even more than that. But that's a good overview, and I think it gives you guys some good information. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a good thumbs up. If you're a new watcher and you guys enjoyed this video and you want to know more about backpacking, bushcraft, survival, just or just camping, you just really enjoy camping, even car camping, Hey, check out the rest of my videos and hit that subscribe button. You can check out the rest of my videos. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.